So I hope everyone's having a great Friday. I am busy getting packed up and ready to move to another part of Canada. So I thought today would be a great day to take a minute and do a tour of my gym. I recently traded my 2019 JLUR, uh, that's a JL Wrangler Rubicon Unlimited for a 2020 Jeep Gladiator. And although I only have about 6,000 kilometers on it, I absolutely love my truck. It's amazing, it puts a smile on my face every time I get into it. I absolutely love the looks that I get and the questions that I get. And I know all that's gonna die down, but the important thing is, is I put 13K on my Wrangler and I really enjoyed it. And so I know I'm gonna love the Gladiator. And it's my baby. And I thought it would be nice for everybody to have an up close look. Okay, so here it is. This is my uh, 2020 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. And I've had a little bit done to it. I got a whole laundry list of things I wanna do. I did get the lane departure warning system on it that I had on my, my Wrangler. I think I might actually end up missing that uh, crash avoidance and uh, that uh, adaptive cruise control, but uh, this is the one they had, this is the color that they had, and uh, this is the one I got, so. So really this is just some clumsy footage that I took of the uh, Gladiator out back of my building, and I thought it'd be good filler for talking about what I decided on and why I went with what I went with. Uh, I went with the 2.5 inch lift the Mopar lift yes warranty yes uh, engineers who built the Jeep built it yes they fixed the spring Boeing issue uh, but primarily warranty uh, now with the lift I decided to go with the 35 inch Nitto trail grappler MT mud train tire I had them on my Wrangler uh, they worked really well when I was up in northern Saskatchewan so uh, I thought they uh, looked great. They were quiet in comparison to other lug tires that I've had. And I put them on the 17 inch off-road Mopar rim. I got this cover installed afterwards. This is a Mopar again. It's a flip cover in the back. Uh, it rolls all the way up. I got it loaded full of stuff right now. So I'm not really gonna film it but uh, I did wish it would lock. That's my only complaint. Up front, I took the seven inch lights off of the Wrangler and the same bar, put them up front on the Gladiator. I do need to space them apart a little bit more because they interfere with the trail camera. With the winch, I decided to go with a Warren uh, Evo 10s that's a 10,000 pound winch I think it's gonna be more than enough for anything that I need it to do the trail camera came with this unit uh, I haven't used it all that much because I think I'm in a habit of getting out walking looking at the trail and uh, then when I get in I kind of already know what I'm driving over <clears throat> the LED headlight package if you're considering one of these get the LED headlight package having owned TJ's and JK's uh, the night and day difference that you get with these LED lights there's the winch uh, I went worn just because I've never had a winch before and that's kind of the name that I knew uh, so far it hasn't let me down I got the sidewinder shackle uh, and the uh, Warren mounting kit uh, that uh, goes with Jeep. Uh, 
I think th it just looks great with this wheel and tire combination. And I mean, to each their own, but if you're going to go overlanding, if you're going to go wheeling, you're going to want a setup that's meant for it. And I think the 17 inch rim and 35, 37 inch tire on this two inch lift is perfect. Let's have a look inside. So um, I'm not going to go over too much detail here in this video. I'll do another like interior video specifically what I like, what I dislike. Uh, but I did get the full leather interior. The only thing I didn't get on this that I kind of wish I did get was the crash avoidance and the adaptive cruise. That fire extinguisher, oh, I hate that placement. I'm looking for a better option. If anybody knows any, link me. Uh, the 8.4 Uconnect is brilliant. I'll do a video on that. The switch bank, I love that feature. Uh, I, FCA just did a really good job on these new Jeeps. Yes, they're pricey, but boy, do I just love getting in this thing and driving it to work as much as I like pointing it down a trail and uh, seeing where it's going to take me and what I'm going to see next. And I encourage everyone to go over to my Facebook page and check out some of the photos that I have posted there. In the back here, a uh, lot of room, I feel. Uh, I know it's two inches bigger than the Wrangler. So here's a shot of the front from the back. Again, I just think it looks great. I kind of miss that red uh, dashboard that was in my Wrangler. But again, I'm really, really happy with this truck. Unfortunately, I didn't know at the time you can't add that uh, cruise control option to it after the fact. I really should have done some more research, but it is what it is. Uh, yeah. Yes, that is a machete there. Uh, that's primarily for branches, things on the trail. Uh, I don't think I'll ever have to ward off like a cougar or a grizzly bear with a machete, but <laughs> it's always nice to have, especially when the brush gets a little bit thick. And I'm a firm believer in making a small impact but also clearing the trail a little bit doesn't hurt so i have the storage bin back here in here i have a first aid kit this is just a two-man it's not a trauma kit and uh, i really think i should get a trauma kit and carry that with me i have a collapsing collapsing shovel and a little folding saw back behind here i keep an emergency blanket a small socket set and uh Let's see what's down in here. Oh, my tow rope. So I'll just pull the tow rope out. I got some gloves if I need to use the winch. And uh, it is dusty back here. I also keep in this bag some spare bolts for the bumper in case I'm taking off the end caps or something and I lose one or one gets stripped or uh, anything that uh, I might need. I'm thinking about carrying extra suspension bolts. So I need to do a little bit of research and find out what I need. And here's just a little socket set if I do want to take the bumper uh, and caps off or if I need to uh, adjust something quick, I don't need to pull out my whole tool set out of the back. Uh, and beside that, you can see the box for the subwoofer. It's a great deal smaller than the one that's in the Wrangler. And that might be one of the uh, things I include in my 10 things I don't like about the Gladiator video is just how much difference there is in sound in the stereo uh, when you have so much less space for that subwoofer box and yes uh, machetes strapped in nice and tight so let's go around to the other side and I will uh, have a quick look at what's over here I have the fire extinguisher mounted. Now, the reason why I don't like the mounting is I can't find something that works really well without maybe having to drill in to the uh, roll bar. So if you look in your Wranglers, uh, anybody who owns a new Gladiator or a new uh, Wrangler, you'll notice the bars, the sport bar, uh, which uh, they don't call it a roll bar, is kind of oblong it's got this weird shape to it so I find it really hard to get something 
to um, cinch down really tight and I think that's why the original holder that I bought for this fire extinguisher ripped off just because it kept getting loose on the trails and then uh, the fire extinguisher would rattle and pull it apart. So I have the molly pouches. I didn't buy the Jeep molly pouches. I bought some knockoff ones, but uh, they're empty. Uh, I think on the other side, I keep a tire repair kit. I haven't uh, really decided what I'm going to carry in this. I need to, uh, I'm going to put a shout out to Trail Recon. He's got some good videos about what to carry out on the trails with you. And I'm going to try and model everything uh, after that. <clears throat> so under the seat here, on the other side of the storage bin, I have some tie down straps. I have some high quality shackles here, uh, just in case uh, I need them for a recovery situation. I'm sure I need way more recovery gear than I'm carrying with me right now. I have a little shovel pickaxe combo on this side. I'm not going to pull it out for you. It was packed away. So here's a roadside safety bag and uh, I got a multi-tool and uh, so radio and some flashlights and, and things in here that I'm sure are going to come in handy. Uh, and then uh, behind the seat, I have the Bluetooth speaker. This actually isn't the one that came with the Gladiator. That one was defective. I had to take that one back and uh, get a new one sent into the dealership. But uh, hopefully I will have an opportunity to test that out and I'll put it in a video and we'll just see how good it does maybe with some uh, music that won't get copyright infringement you can see the box back there it's pretty small for the uh, subwoofer anyways so that's it that's the gladiator um, if anyone has any questions feel, feel free to ask me in the comments but if you're looking for a little rig that's going to uh, carry you where you want to go that's going to uh, be solid and reliable I think the Pentastar V6 that's in this is a tried, tested, and true motor. I think the Jeep engineers did a great, fantastic job with this new build. And the Italian side of FCA kicking in uh, on the interior, I think, was just a bonus. You can't go wrong with this truck. Well, that's my video. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, and share. And always keep it wheel side down and pack out what you bring in, please. We only got one earth. And to see garbage out on the trails is not fair for anyone.
So, and yeah, I mean, I have done a little bit of damage. There's, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on video, but there's a little bit of a, a deep scrape that goes up here that's just kind of into the clear coat a little bit. I got a nick on one of my rock rails right down here, if you can see that right there. Um, some scratches up and along the uh, hard top, but thankfully because of the lift, you don't really ever get to see up there. And a little bit of a dent right here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this on video, but um, it's just the smallest dent I think where, uh, where a tree kicked up. So I want to put some armor along the, uh, the bottom 